laptops down. Okay, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. We are continuing with ratios. We have done what are ratios? Do we need units for them? Do we need units? No. Now, can a ratio be written just like that? 21 is to 6? Yep. Yes. Does order matter in ratios? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, when we write a ratio for these two, what do we need to do before we continue to write the ratio? Convert. Convert to? Same units. Same units. Well done. Now, some things to remember. Yep. Ratios are written in whole numbers, so we won't do like 1.5 is to 3. We convert them to a whole number, and I'll teach you how to do that. Numbers in a ratio can be multiplied or divided by the same number. We did talk about it last lesson, didn't we? Yes, just like a fraction. Can we multiply top and bottom by the same number? Can we divide top and bottom by the same number? Same thing with ratios. For example, again, how old are you? 12. Same favorite example. How old am I? 24. Well done. I'm actually doing the same. Favorite class. Now, so I need to write this ratio. That means I am twice as old as you. Yes? So, what have I done? Have I divided this by 12 and that by 12? Yes. So, I can do that. I can, can I multiply both by the same number? Yes. So, let's multiply these by 3. 1 times 3? 2 times 3? What are these ratios called? They're not equal. What are they called? Oh, this is not simplified. But what's the relationship between these three? Equivalent ratios. These are equivalent ratios, just like equivalent fractions. How did we get equivalent fractions? When we multiplied top and bottom by the same number? Yes. Or when we divided top and bottom by the same number. However, we are not worried. We don't want to make our ratios bigger. So we always write our ratio in the simplest form. Shush. We write our ratio in the simplest form. So we will write 1 is to 2 for your ages to mine. I won't write 3 is to 6 or 12 is to, is to 24. Is that clear? So how we simplify ratios, just like we simplify fraction, divide both top and bottom by the same number, or by the highest common factor. Is that clear? Yeah. Let's get started. Write in the simplest form, 21 is to 6. Any common factors between 21 and 6? 3. So basically, I'm just going to show this working out. You don't have to do it in the test or when you're doing your work. So this is so that you know what the teacher did in class for later. 21 divided by 3 is 7, seven eyes on the board. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. Yeah. So you have to keep the same order. You can't make it 2 is to 7. Is that right? Yeah. That is simplified. 20 is to 50 is to 20. So highest common factors of all numbers. 20, 50 and 20. Yep. 10. Can I divide everything by 10? Yes. So you're dividing everything by 10. So 20 divided by 10 is? 2. 50 divided by 10? 5. 20 divided by 10? 2. Clever class. Any questions? Great. Let's move on. 40 milli 42 millimeters to 7 centimeters. Who can tell me what to do? I hate being told what to do, but okay. You have to convert centimeters into millimeters. Well done. Converting millimeters into centimeters or centimeters to millimeters. So we're going to pick one. Now, if I convert millimeters to centimeters, what's the conversion factor? Um, divide by 10. Yeah, I'm going to divide it by 10. So I'm going to get a decimal, aren't I? Yeah. We, do we like decimals? Yeah. No. So I'm going to instead convert the centimeters into millimeters. Does that sound reasonable? Yeah. So we act smart a bit, right? So we do the conversion that does not give us fractions or decimals. So 7 centimeters is? Do we all know that? Yeah, yeah. Now at least? Okay. Now we can write the ratio. 42 is to 70. Do I need to specify the unit here? Yes. Not do I need to specify the unit here? Oh, no. No. Doesn't matter. It's in the same unit. We just write the ratio. 42 and 70. 7? Seven? 7. So I'm going to divide both numbers by 7. 42 divided by 7 is? 6. 70 divided by 7? 10. Oh. Still not fully simplified. 2. Yep. Divide both sides by 2. Or we could have divided both of them by 14. But it's okay. We don't need to know the big numbers straight away. 
we can do it in steps. 6 divided by 2, 10 divided by 2. So this is your final answer. All others are equivalent ratios. 50 cents to 3 dollars. Will you convert 50 cents to dollars? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. Give us a really weird answer. Is it easier to convert dollars to cents? Yes. Yep, okay. Three dollars equals? Yes, so the ratio is 50 is to 300. Can I divide both of them by a common factor? What's the common factor? 50. If you find 50 to be a bit bigger, we can do it in steps. Can we divide by 10 first? Yeah, yeah let's do it in steps. 50 divided by 10? <coughs> 300 divided by 10? 30. And we know it's still not fully simplified. So we can divide both by now. 5. 5 divided by 5? 30 divided by 5? That's it. Make sense? So you do not have to divide by the bigger numbers straight away. It is okay to divide it in steps, get equivalent fractions until you can't simplify any more. Do we have any other questions? Yes? No? Great. Copy.